Hello and welcome to Tech Deals, unboxing February 2018, opening stuff you sent me as well as stuff that companies have sent me for review. In this video, we're just going to open a bunch of boxes and packages, take a look at stuff, maybe talk about it for a minute and have some fun. Linked down in the description below will be the playlist of the unboxing videos. This is number two, January 2018 was the first one that I did. Also linked down there are Twitter and Twitch, you can follow me there. And if you like my channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon, I would greatly appreciate it. While I do get sent stuff uh, from manufacturers from time to time, I actually do still buy quite a few things, such as these new Ryzen 3 and 5 APUs. AMD didn't sample me on those, I bought them. So the performance videos you've already seen on my channel have been done with that Ryzen 3, and the Ryzen 5 stuff will be coming very soon, along with a full review. The first item is actually already open. It's the new 760p SSD from Intel. This is an NVMe drive which replaces the 600p. I've previously reviewed the 600p, and to be completely honest, didn't like it very much. It's a little bit on the slow side compared to the others. This is supposed to be faster and it will get reviewed very soon. I opened it up before I decided to do all the manufacturer samples as unboxings in these videos. So there's that. Next up, we have a letter, and this, I believe, is from a viewer. It is from, it does not have a name on the envelope. Oh, wow. Thank you so, holy, you know what? That is very, very nice of you. Thank you very much for the $20. I appreciate that. I will set that over there in the very special place. Let me read this to you. Dear Tech, I have been watching you on YouTube since May of 2017. Thank you and have enjoyed every one. I am sending a donation to just say thanks for your knowledge. Since May, I've been building my first computer with the last part coming January 2018. Congratulations. It's this last part that I need your help with. I purchased a Pioneer uh, BDR something optical drive without software. I'm wanting to play DVDs and Blu-ray movies with this drive. Currently it reads game discs and play CDs, but no movies. Would you kindly offer how I can fix this problem? What kind of software I need to accomplish this task? Thank you very much in advance. And he's got an email address in here, so I will send uh, you an email directly. His first name is Rick. I won't tell you his last name, obviously, but Rick, I will send you uh, an email on that. But the short version is there's paid solutions. You can use stuff like Power DVD software. For me personally, I prefer software such as VLC player. Uh, VLC, if you just do a Google search for that, you can download it. It will play most DVDs. Not all, but it'll play most. Another option is you can download the K-Light codec pack. And if you type in K-Light codec into Google, you'll also find it as well. The standard edition is all you need. It's free. There's a mega edition as well, but I use the standard version. And with it comes a program called Media Player Classic. Media Player Classic, again free, will play most DVDs and some Blu-rays, not all, but it will play some of them. One of those two solutions will work for most people. There used to be a program that you could either buy uh, called Any DVD, which would basically decrypt encrypted DVDs and let you play them through a standard media player, but unfortunately that's been discontinued. Um, most of the programs that will let you do Blu-rays are paid programs. There's very few free programs if you didn't get one with your player, but give VLC a try and give K-Lite Codec Pack a try and see how those work for you. And I will be sure to follow up and send you an email directly. Ah, at the bottom, he's got PS, this is what I built. MSI Z270 mortar motherboard, an Intel i5-7600K, and a Samsung NVMe 960 EVO, excellent drive, highly recommended. A Samsung uh, 850 EVO, good second drive. G-Skill Rip Draws for DDR4-3466, sharp. A Corsair RMX650, that is an excellent 80 plus gold power supply, the Pioneer optical drive, all housed in a Cooler Master Storm Scout 2. I'm actually not familiar with a Storm Scout 2 off the top of my head. I am going to look that up. Thank you very much, Rick, and I appreciate the contribution. Next up, we have a FedEx package to open, and I actually already know what this is because I see the company name on it, but it's still pretty cool. For those of you wondering why I'm carefully taking off the bubble wrap, I can reuse this stuff. I am the deal man, and free bubble wrap is always nice. Plus, it has another benefit. It's environmentally friendly to reuse it. Ooh, that, that is sharp. 
This is the new Sniper X memory from G Skill. Not Rip Jaws, not Trident Z. It's not the Flare X. It is a new branding with a new shape of heatsink. It comes in three different colors, the white and black you see here, a camo, and then a special color designed to match the Asus Tough Boards. Uh, so it's got several different options. This particular RAM, oh, this is nice. DDR4 3600 CL19. Okay, well that gives me some 3600 to test. I don't think I have any 3600. You will be seeing this tested at some point in something coming up very soon. Next, we have a brown box. Usually fun stuff is inside these. Well, now this is interesting. This is a Element T6 wireless speaker, 25 watts, 15 hours of playtime, 360 degree surround sound. It comes with a 520, uh, no, actually, excuse me, 5200 milliamp battery, uh, rugged design, simple touch controls. It looks here, I'll zoom on this here. It's got play, rewind, fast forward, pause, and is that a button to answer calls? I don't know. All of the items like this and the RAM, I will link down in the description below if you'd like to see more information about it, but we will uh, we'll take a look at this in a future video. Next up, we have a flat package and let's see what's in here. Oh, okay. I have previously done a review of the previous version of this drive. This is the new S20 from AdLink. I previously did a video of the S10. I was genuinely shocked when they sent those to me and tested them because off-brand SSDs, usually it's like, oh, well, these aren't gonna be any good. But if you watch that video with the S10s, they really are pretty quick. In real world use, it's hard to tell the difference with say the Crucials and the Samsungs. I have the 512 gig version of that downstairs installed in my son's CyberPower PC with an i7-7700K right now. Good drives. This is an updated version with 3D NAND flash, 256 gigs, I will be testing this in a future video. We have a green envelope from a Clint in California. Ah, this is from a company. And what is this? This is Tracker Pixel Lost It Find It. It looks like, oh, okay. It is a little tracking device that you can put on a purse, a key ring, luggage, or other item and find it if you lost it, I suppose. I will have to look into this, interesting. And now we have something from China Post. Hmm, what could this be? A fast wireless charging stand. Operating distance, eight millimeters. I'm gonna take this out and see what it is. I have absolutely no idea what this is. I did not know this was coming. Ever since I started putting my address beneath my video description, I've started to get random items sent to me by companies going, would you please review this? Some of it I will, some of it I won't. Oh, interesting, okay. So it's a stand to put your phone in for wireless charging. I don't think my iPhone 6 supports wireless charging, but I might have an Android phone that does. It's got a... It's got a micro USB port in the back for power and it's got a power adapter. So I will look this up and link it down in the video description below. It seems reasonably sturdy. Now this box I'm pretty excited about. I actually know what this is. And the reason is because I had to send this back to Gigabyte who lent me one. They lent me one to do the Gigabyte X299 review that I did previously. And after doing that, Intel was nice enough to send me one. I will be using this as my cooler test bench going forward, by the way. And it is inside yet another envelope. It's actually labeled Intel Confidential, so there's really no label to look at on here, but this is an i9-7900X. I had an i9-7900X briefly from Gigabyte, but that was just a, a loaner and I had to return it. This is for me to keep, and I'm gonna use this on that Gigabyte X299 board for uh, multiple coolers. In fact, one of these boxes actually has a Noctura cooler in it that we're gonna show you here in a minute because I recognize the tape. Another cardboard box from Amazon. This is probably another product sample as well. 
Duo, duo something. I have absolutely no idea what this is. I still have no idea what it is. It's uh, it's it's a thingy in a box. Duo user manual. Well, that's helpful. Please subscribe our WhatsApp. I am so not hip. I don't know what WhatsApp is. It's a mystery. What in the world? Oh, they're earphones or headphones or ear things. Yeah, when I was growing up in the 80s, all you had were these big, huge, heavy things you put on your head and you, unless you had those lightweight Sonys with a Walkman. Interesting. All right, well, I'll give them a try. It does have a fairly decent carrying case. The problem with these lightweight headphones is, you know, they just, they sit on the ground or they drop or you put them on the table. That's, that's actually pretty strong. If you want a place to protect, I have no idea what these cost. I'll have to look them up. This next item here, I have to admit, I bought myself. I absolutely love these larger pads. In the January video, I showed uh, this large mouse pad here and I linked it in that. This is a little bit different, a little bit different shape. I actually have two of these. One of these is already downstairs on my streaming PC. And this one is for up here over on this computer you can't see. And you cannot get it out of the package. It must be state secrets. Yes, this is a mouse pad, but notice that this side over here is taller than this side. This is large enough to put both your keyboard and mouse on, but the side over here for your mouse is larger, giving you a larger tracking space. This same shape and same size is available in many different colors and designs, not just Overwatch, but others, World of Warcraft and others. Um, I did buy the two D.Va ones, this one and the other design, the other one's downstairs because D.Va's my main in Overwatch, but these aren't expensive. These are like $12 maybe. If you've never used a full-size keyboard mouse combo mouse pad for your desk, you don't know what you're missing. I have for many, many years just used a dedicated mouse pad, but once you put the entire surface in front of you and your keyboard mouse is it's so much nicer. For $12, this is a crazy good deal. And it's actually very nice material. Mouse tracks on it perfectly. It's very soft. I like it. And from Diva, we have another brown box. Probably another one of those cheap things from a seller at Amazon. I'm not complaining, mind you. Maybe I should ask one of them to sponsor me. And we have that. It looks like an over-the-ear wireless sport headphones. Oh, okay. Wireless connection, waterproof, built-in mic, and carrying case. I'm not gonna sh what I'll probably do with this, by the way, if you're curious, is I'll do one video. Once I've actually looked these up, I have no idea what it costs or anything else. I'll do a video where I actually show this in detail after I've actually used them, maybe of like five or 10 products in one video, because otherwise this sort of thing probably doesn't deserve its own video. From a brown box to a white envelope that probably has a brown box inside of it. Oh, it is not a brown box inside. Why would you ship this like this? Eh. Um, there is no box or protection, no bubble envelope or anything. It is headset super bass. Super bass. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm old. Um, just from personal experience, any audio product that says super bass usually isn't, but we'll find out. Um, box is kind of beat up because of the way it was shipped. Compatible with iPhone, another device, iPod, iPhone, iPad. I will look at this in a video. If you're watching this thinking there's a lot of audio products in here, I would tend to agree with you. Although that Bluetooth wireless speaker looks kind of cool. I might actually have a use for that. Um, ever since I put my address down in the description below and did my first unboxing video, stuff starts showing up. Frankly, I'd, I'd just as soon have trinkets from my viewers, but hey, it is what it is. A thought just occurred to me. I don't have a Diva coffee mug. If anybody wants to send me a Diva coffee mug, I will use it in a video or a live stream. Power ad. This is a, oh, it's a wireless Bluetooth speaker and it's written this way on the side. 4,000 milliamp hour battery, up to 24 hours of playback time at the lowest volume in parentheses. Four built-in speaker drivers, waterproof housing. Huh. I will test it, I will plug it in and see how it sounds and I will show it to you in another video. 
Now, this is exciting. This says it's from Justin in MD, which is Maryland? I think so. I hope so. In any case, um, it's handwritten, so it's probably from a viewer. This is exciting, and I have absolutely no earthly idea of what's in here. But we're going to find out. And, oh, this is nice. Okay, i got to put this on the ground because it's big. First of all, yes, this is from a viewer, and now I see what this is. I, I'm excited. I'm going to open this up here in a second, but first I want to read the letter. Hello, Tech Deals. Thank you so much for the wonderful content you provide. You are very, very welcome. I have fun making it. I really enjoy it. I subscribe to your Patreon. Aww, thank you. And I'm a YouTube Red member. Thank you. For those of you who don't know, it's not available in every country, but YouTube Red is a service for, in the U.S., at least $10 a month, which, first of all, removes all ads from YouTube. You'll never see an ad, but most importantly, pays content creators as if there were ads. And the reality, YouTube Red views are actually worth a little bit more than ads. It's very supportive and very helpful. And then you don't have to worry about using Adblock because we get paid anyway. Even when videos get demonetized as not suitable for all advertisers, we still get paid YouTube Red views. So if you want to support all the content creators, please consider I pay for Red myself because I watch a lot of YouTube. So anyway, there's that. Thank you very, very much, Justin. All right. I was watching your video with the Q6600 and GT1030 playing Overwatch, where you mentioned you would like a non-OEM Core 2 quad motherboard. I had this in a computer that was not being utilized and thought you could make some great fun and informative videos with it. I look forward to more of your great content. Justin, thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. I will save your letter right over here. And let's open this up and see what's in here. Make sure I'm careful with it. Good packing job, by the way. All that bubble wrap that you used, not to worry. I will recycle that and use it in future shipments. It's like Christmas. If I can get the tape off my hands. Scotch tape is actually really good to use on internal bubble wrap like this because it peels off so easily and then I can recycle it. For those of you curious, um, I was responding. he's responding to the fact that I've owned several Core 2 Quad machines, and the current one that I own is a Dell Vostro 410, and I've also had a Core 2 Quad Q9650, but that was also a Dell. That was a Dell Optiplex. I've never actually had an overclockable, non-large company system before, so this will be interesting. See what CPU this is. Ooh, a Q8400, okay. Nice, that is, I think, I don't have all the Core 2 quads memorized, but I think that's the 45 nanometer chip, not the 65, because the Q6600 is the 65 nanometer, and then it goes all the way to the 9650, which is 45. I think an 8400 is that, which means this should support all the chips. This is definitely from before the days of black and red and RGB motherboards. It is RGB. It's just like colored plastic. Look at the colors on this. I love it. It is just, it's so retro. What board is this? This is... Is this going to sound bad that I cannot tell you who made this motherboard? If you want to see old school, take a look. If you want to see old school, take a look at this. This is a four pin Molex power connector for the motherboard. It wasn't that long ago. Wow. And he included RAM on it. How much RAM is on here? Two gigs, two. <gasps> Thank you. That is eight gigabytes of PC2 8500, which is, I should know. It's been a while since I dealt with that. But it says here the board supports up to DDR2 uh, 1066 plus, which is faster than the DDR2 800 that's in my Core 2 quad. It's got PCI Express, it's got PCI. It even has an IDE port on it. Oh, floppy drive connector. Oh, it's so retro, I love it. Thank you, thank you. And you included the IO, thank you for including the IO shield. That makes it nice. USB 2 ports, built-in audio. I will definitely put this into a system and do some testing with it. I appreciate it. This looks suspiciously like another mouse pad. It might be. To be honest with you, I think I've had this for two or three weeks and I don't remember what it looks like. I don't remember ordering three of them. But anything is possible. 
This is definitely a mouse pad. Ah. World of Warships. I forgot about this. I can, I, how can I do that? I love World of Warships. I play World of Warships all the time. I live stream World of Warships all the time. Okay, that's tempting. Do I put this downstairs on the streaming machine or do I leave Diva down there? I don't know. I will link to this down in the description below as well. But the fact is these things are not expensive and yeah. This box is from a viewer. Mark, thank you very much. You told me you were sending me a package and it arrived. You didn't tell me what you were sending me, so I have no idea what's in here. It is the mystery box of goodness. <laughs> And we have a letter from Mark. <laughs> Dear Tech Deals guy, please find enclosed an electric group of items ranging from funny, useful, and nostalgic. I love nostalgic items. I give you a special item to help open your boxes with style. Hope you like it. Ooh, is it going to be better than my fish knife? Thanks for your inspiration. You really do help people out. You're very welcome. P.S. Don't read this on the video. <laughs> oh, okay. I won't read that on the video. Oh, thanks, Mark. Go Eagles. Eagles as in, I am so not a sports fan. Philadelphia Eagles? Football, I assume? I am so not a sports fan. All right, just for you, Mark, go Eagles. This is... <laughs> Yes, I needed one of these. A gigabit PCI adapter. This provides a gigabit RJ45 port in a gigabit in a PCI slot, not a PCI Express, a PCI. You know what this will actually work well with? The I assume that the network port on the Core 2 Quad motherboard that I opened earlier is probably a 10100. It might be a gigabit, but if it's a 10100 I can put this on that board and get gigabit on it. Although gigabit existed back then. My um, Core 2 Quad Q6600 Dell has gigabit, for example. That's cool. Packing material. <laughs> oh! <laughs> This is hilarious. I kid you not. I swear. I had no idea what was in here. I mentioned earlier in the video when I opened the motherboard and I said, oh, it's got an IDE slot. Oh, and even it's got a floppy drive port. Floppy drives. Floppy disks. That is hilarious. Great. Thanks for sending me these, Mark. Just what I needed. 1.44 megabyte floppy disks. So... This is a 256 gigabyte SD card for my cameras. And each one of these holds 1.44 megabytes. I'll let you do the math on how many of these it would take to equal one of these. But yeah, these don't exist anymore for a reason. Um, mystery item. This is a PCI Firewire card. Um, Firewire is basically dead at this point. Um, IEE 1394, there are three Firewire ports on this. When USB first came out, USB was, I believe, 11 megabits per second, and this was 400 megabits per second. And this could be daisy chained from one device to the next. So like an external Firewire hard drive, for example, would have two ports in the back. One would plug into your computer, and if you bought a second FireWire drive, you would then plug it into the first drive rather than your computer. And so essentially they would daisy chain and they were faster and they used less CPU. In many regards, uh, 1394 ports were better than USB ports, but they cost more and computers all had USB, so USB won. That's funny. 
This is a perfecting a, ooh, for unboxing. Holy smokes. Wow. <laughs> I, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. It's, it's shiny and it's going to eat me. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's heavy and shiny. It is from the Franklin Mitt Collector Knives. Franklin Mitt, where all the best collector stuff comes from. Let's see if I can open it without killing myself. I don't know why, and this is always a touchy subject, so I won't go into it too deeply. Knives have always freaked me out. I'm from Texas. Guns are normal in Texas. Guns don't bother me. Knives have always bothered me for some reason, and I cannot tell you why. But that's like, if you came at me with that, I would be like, oh, that's going to hurt. That is a freaky looking knife. Holy smokes. That's, that is something. Mark is having fun with me now. Yes, that's exactly what it looks like it is. And yes, it's sealed. Yep, it's all in there and the box is sealed. Yes. Make three wishes. Over odds of winning one in one million. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to read the back of this to you. How to play. Scratch entire gold play area. Match three $3 amounts and automatically win that dollar amount. Claiming instructions. Winning tickets of $10,000 or more must submit claim form by mail. Claim forms supplied by Santa Claus. All winning tickets must be validated by the Tooth Fairy and conform to her game rules. Winning prizes may not be claimed anywhere, so forget about it. All winners are losers and must have an excellent sense of humor. Holder must complete this in portion in invisible ink. Gee, thanks. I do have a sense of humor. Ooh. I love small packages. The older you get, the more you learn to appreciate small packages. This. Good thing I have a sense of humor. This is a Core 2 Duo E6400. Do you know why Mark sent this to me? It might be worth a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's worth. You know, I will I will use it for something. Uh, to be honest, it, it will probably end up as a display because, frankly, is it worth anything else? But I'll, I'll show it off or have it on my desk or do something with it. Thank you, Mark. Seriously? At least it's somewhat technology rated. I kid you not. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll take one out of the package so you can see it. They are pens, but it does say LG on them, and LG is technology, so I guess it sort of applies. It's nine pens. Fair enough. I can always use a pen. I have to say that is one of the most interesting boxes I have ever opened and I will probably have edited the heck out of that so it's not too long but in any case thanks Mark I appreciate the thought <laughs> oh you made me laugh if nothing else and then we go from silly to serious this is from Noctua yes I'm learning how to say their name there's no R in there I know I will be doing more reviews of their products and Maybe something special next month. You'll just have to wait and see. Before I take everything out of here, just a couple of thoughts on Noctua. I've used two of their different coolers now. I've got another one up on the top shelf there to test, and this is a fourth one. I've also put their fans into several machines. My $2,000 Cadillac build actually had all of its fans replaced because, to be honest, they are much quieter than the Corsair and Cooler Master fans, to be honest with you. They don't sponsor me. 
but they do send me some boxes of stuff. I actually did ask them if they would, and unfortunately the answer was no. Uh, there's not very many companies that I actually would like to take money from, but the quality of their products are awesome. If you want an excellent quality product and you don't mind the fact that they do cost a little bit more, I mean, they, they are more expensive than say a Cooler Master Cooler. They really are sharp. In any case, this is a NHD15S Slim designed to be more compatible with RAM. This has, I believe, one fan instead of two. Yes, it has one fan. Um, I am going to be comparing this to the D15 Non-S in terms of fit and finish. And earlier in the video, I showed you that i9-7900X. That's what these are for. That test bench with that gigabyte board is gonna let me easily switch out multiple coolers and I can stick it up here on the desk like I did for the previous Noctua video and I can show you the fit and finish with RAM slots and compatibility with this and the non-S version and other coolers and actually do more cooling testing, which I've not been able to do before now because my only other Skylake chip is under the desk in my uh, very expensive $4,000 Skylake build. So that chip from Intel is gonna let me do it. For those of you curious, yes, I really am going to leave the 8-core Skylake X in my day-to-day -day workstation, and I'm going to leave the 10-core i9 as strictly a test bench. That's what it was sent for, and that's what it will be used for. But there is something else cool here. Color. I know a lot of people don't like the, uh, shall we say, off-brown Bakelite color that Noctua has used for a very long time. Some people do, and if you do, that's awesome. When I did the fan installation before, um, I talked about the fact that they made black fans, and in last month's video, I did an unboxing of those black fans. But those are just case fans. They're not cooler fans. Now they are. Yes, they now have kits to turn their brown coolers into not brown, into black. They really do make nice packaging. You can see the fan here, and then they have the multiple colors. You can go all black up at the top. They've got red, blue, green, white, and yellow. And they sent me two, although this only has one. I'm not sure why they sent me two. And then, show you what that looks like right there. This is the plastic. Oh, no. Metal. Nice. So if you want to change out, and if you have an existing one, these are retrofit kits that you can you can buy and change out the color to black, not just of the fans, but very nice. You can see what that looks like. Colors. Red, yellow, and yellow and red. Interesting. Green and blue, black and white. I'll be honest with you, I'm not exactly sure where you use those because I haven't used this yet. I will in a full review of it. And the last item I'm gonna open up, well, you can see what it is. I've already taken it out of the box that was shipped to me because I've actually had this for about two, three weeks now, but I am gonna do a full review on this. I would like to say something. This is a 10 inch Android tablet. It's an Amazon Fire. It has 64 gigabytes of internal storage. It has a 1080p Full HD screen. It has a quad-core chip, and it's $189 retail. You can also get the 32-gig version for $149 retail. Compare those prices to an iPad. I used the very, very first generation of Fire Tablet years ago personally, but I haven't used one recently, and they've updated it several times since. Now, full disclosure, I am an Apple user. I use an iPhone and I use an iPad and I have extensive experience with iPads and I currently own an iPad Air 2. Not the Pro, but I have the 2. So I have a very nice current generation, very expensive iPad. So when it comes to performance, I'm gonna play around with this, install some apps and see how it runs. And I'm gonna do the full review on this in the future, but this is about maybe a third the price of a 64 gig iPad, give or take. $200 versus about $600 or so for the 64 gig version of that. That is a huge, huge price difference. You can practically buy three of these for the price of one of those. Is it as good? Is the touch sensors as good? Is it as fast? Is that quad-core chip really that great? I don't know. I'm going to test it and find out. 
Fast and responsive, 1.8 gigahertz quad-core processor, two gigabytes of RAM, long-lasting battery. Um, now this is nice, up to 256 gigabyte of expandable storage for offline. So it has a micro SD card slot for more storage, which the iPad does not. Well, I won't read you the whole spec sheet now, but needless to say, it's got a lot of features. Let's see what this looks like. It's ooh. Here's a little uh, wall wart charger, although it's USB, so you use anything that's USB. Comes with a cable, and it is a micro USB, not a Type-C. Do more with your Fire tablet. Oh, this is just telling you all the stuff you can do. I mean, they're very, very full featured. The fact is, there's a reason why so many people have these things. Basic instructions of how to use it. This is not heavy at all. That is, that is very, that's a lot lighter than my old one. I had one of the very, very early generations of Fire tablets from years ago. This is, well, I don't want to throw it in the air, but that is not heavy at all. Uh, I may actually weigh it and compare it to the iPad Air 2. You can see the display on my camera in a reflection on the screen. You can see the stuff from my daughter that she put on the wall. And I do have drawings on the wall. It's, uh, the whole wall over there is decorated by my daughter. Very nice. Amazon does offer screen protectors, and I will test how this works on and off. Okay, so there are two screen protectors in the screen. I don't know what this costs off the top of my head. I will link all of this down in the description below. This is highly important. Seriously, if you're buying a tablet, buy one of these. Uh, my iPads have them. They have the built-in flip around cover that protects the screen and then you flip it around, it turns into a stand. This is the same thing. You can see here that it'll stand up that way and that you can also see it'll work vertically. Fits seventh, wow, are they on the seventh generation of Fire? It says Fits seventh generation. Let's see what this looks like. It has easy to follow instructions right here. In fact, I may just go ahead and stick this in right now because it will never survive otherwise. Well, that was really easy to insert. Okay, you just drop it in. Oh, that is so much better. Get a cover, seriously. That is because now it's protected on both sides. Now you can put stuff on it, yeah. If you're gonna spend $200 and buy a nice tablet like this, spend whatever this, I'll have to look up what this costs. It'll be linked down below. Get a cover. And if we flip it around this way, oh, you can see it is standing up. So this is really easy. You just flip this around and it can rest at that angle or this angle. So it's adjustable. Yes, I realize it kind of blends into my shirt, but that's about as far back as it goes. And then for standing up this way, yep, it works. What more do you want? And then when you're ready to flip it around, and does it hold, is it magnetic? Yes, it's magnetic. So it's actually, yeah, it's holding itself shut. You can still access the charging port there. So you plug it in down here, volume control, headphone jack, power switch, nothing on the bottom. It does have an opening right here for the camera. I wonder if it has power. Amazon, it does have power. Now, keep in mind that I don't have this set up or lit to film, so you're seeing it with a lot of studio light on it. This isn't meant to be a review. I'm just showing you something for a minute. Optimizing system storage and applications. This will take approximately 10 minutes to complete, and then it just finished. This is the first screen that you see when it first turns on. Connect to Wi-Fi, you need an inter internet connection. So I'll choose mine. It says connecting. Checking for software updates, please wait. It is orange. Well, I guess the box is orange, so that makes sense, it's a fire. What does it say? Updating your file, oh boy. Downloading, 97% to go. The latest fire software is downloading. It is not heavy at all. I'm serious, I am not exaggerating. It is. It, it weighs less than it looks due to its size. It seems responsive so far. We stopped using my original Fire because it was slow uh, compared to the new iPads, but we had, I think we might have even had a first gen Fire. It was a first or second. If this is seventh, then I mean, it's it's been years. Plug in your Fire using the included power adapter to maximize battery life during the update process. 
Installing updates. Okay, that was a quick download. And then you have to register by signing in. It doesn't have my, if you order one of these, it should come pre-registered to your account. Um, since Amazon sent this to me for review, it's not set up that way. I'm surprised it's not because they actually uh, know who I am, but eh, whatever. All I can tell you is that I've been using iPad since 2010. Since I've had, I've had the very first one and I've been upgrading ever since. Uh, if you upgrade every year with your iPad and then you sell your used one, they tend to hold their value pretty well. You pay a lot for them, but they hold their value. This is so cheap, I just give it to my kids when they're done. We might do that, actually. Our kids watch a ton of video on Amazon uh, Instant Video. So expect to see something detailed on this in the near future. Okay, now this is entirely too much fun. I, I took a couple of minutes, set everything up, uh, started downloading apps. Alexa, what's the weather? Currently... In Plano, it's 41 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Tonight, you can expect rainy weather with a low of 41 degrees. That is cool. We use Amazon Echoes in two rooms of our house, and our old fire definitely doesn't have that. Now, you can turn it off if you don't want to, but I just thought I'd include this little bit after I spent some time playing with it because, yeah, that's a lot of fun. If you've never used a personal digital assistant, it's very, very handy. Alexa, what time is it? It's 10.35 p.m. Alexa, what's the weather going to be for the next week? In Plano for the next seven days. Friday, 54 degrees and rainy weather. Saturday, 68 degrees and showers. Alexa, play Beethoven. Shuffling songs by Ludwig van Beethoven. Alexa, stop. Alexa, how many cups in a quart? One quart equals four cups. Alexa, how many gallons in a ton? Gallons can't be converted to imperial long tons. Gallons measure volume, while imperial long tons measure mass. <sighs> Alexa, what's 2,415 times 712? 2,415 multiplied by 712 is 1,719,480. Alexa, how much does the Earth weigh? Earth's mass is 13 septillion 199 sextillion 999 quintillion 999 quadrillion 999 trillion 999 billion 563 million 792 thousand 384 pounds. 5 septillion 976... Alexa, stop. Alexa, how large is the universe? The universe, depth, 93 billion light years, circumference. 292 billion light years, width, 93 billion light years. Alexa, what's the meaning of life, the universe, and everything? 42. <laughs> oh, I love that answer. Alexa, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck would chuck all the wood he could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. You can have way too much fun with this if you're not careful. You can ask it to read Wikipedia. It can look up stuff from online resources. It can manage a calendar for you. If you've never used a personal digital assistant, and it is really, really good. There were no takes or edits there. Any edits were for time, or maybe I have to edit the music out for copyright reasons. I don't know if uh, Beethoven is copyrighted, but uh, it's, it's responsive. It's really, really quick, and it's really good. In any case, watch for a review on this coming soon. That concludes the February 2018 unboxing video. Please check the description down below for links to everything that I showed you here. My address to send me stuff is down at the bottom of the uh, video description. If you want to send me stuff, be it funny or silly or perhaps just interesting, by all means. If you want to find out whether or not I'm interested, by all means, send me a message or send me an email to pcdealman at gmail.com. Um, if it's not something that I'm interested in or will use, I'll tell you, but if I could use it in a video, I certainly would. At the very least, it'll be funny to open up here on one of these videos. As far as the channel itself, if you are able to support me on Patreon or via direct PayPal donations, those links are down in the description below. I do get sent some stuff from companies, but I actually still have to buy a lot of stuff for the channel. A good example are these new Ryzen APUs. 
AMD, for whatever reason, didn't send them to me. That's okay. They are really good value for the money and there will be a review on them. But in terms of performance for the dollar, they are the new value king by far. Like this video if you like it. Share it with your friends if you loved it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with that big, huge red button directly below. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, advice, suggestions, or any other ramblings you have, that's what the comment section is for. And as always, links in the video description. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time.